Hello, everybody. Hello, succulent friends of Las Vegas. Today, we are going to be talking about my last tip of my blog series called, what's it called? Three more tips for a successful succulent section in Las Vegas. More specifically, we're going to be going over tip number six if I haven't said that already. This video is for the succulent newbies out there, but it's also for Las Vegan newbies out there like me. <laughs> Las Vegas locals that might not know how the weather affects their succulents. Well, this is, I'm tangenting. All right. I really had a lot of fun <laughs> doing these videos. I know this, it's not like it's the end of my videos, but it's the end of a series and that makes me sad, but that's okay because there's going to be many more series to come. Let me know if you want any kinds of series and uh... yeah, okay. anyways, so tip number six is to buy healthy plants and to know when to buy the sick clearance ones. This is a big one because I'm guilty as fuck of this. I've gone out to the clearance section of big box stores and you know, you do like a plant assessment. And you're like, oh my God, which one am I gonna adopt? Which one am I gonna take home? And there are two reasons that we go and do this. This being grabbing succulents that aren't in the best condition. Because one, we want to rescue that plant. We, we want to be able to have the plant and be like, oh my god, I saved you. And now you're super happy and you're doing all these awesome, wonderful things. Thank you for growing for me. Yes. Yes, I'm using a bowl to catch water when I do the watering things. This is a propagation actually. I'm trying to get it to root. And then the second reason is because you're probably tight on money. And that's okay. Because <laughs> I know that life. I know about the struggle. So then it becomes like a win-win, right? But then you go home. And then you find a spot for it, which may or may not be the best spot. It's probably labeled as some general succulent, like literally just labeled succulent. I know, I, I probably have one. They probably just labeled it succulent. They literally just named it succulent. Like, what even kind of succulent is it? I don't know. But you buy it because it's like, it's dying and it needs someone to love it and I have a lot of love to give. That's basically why we really buy them, you know what I mean? We just want to give our love. <laughs> but basically when we do this, a lot of the times, the succulent probably ends up dead. I mean, I'm not saying that you can't take and you can't, ra you can't take care of, you know, dying succulents and you can't rescue them. But if you want an awesome section to begin with if you want an awesome succulent section to begin with you gotta start off with healthy plants and i think this is especially important when you're out in vegas because one if you're a succulent beginner that just goes out to save succulents which i have done and i'm not saying you can't do it because you know people learn different ways not saying that you can't do that right but the thing is, if you don't know how to properly take care of the plant, and then on top of that, if you bring it to a city that has such extreme temperatures, the survival of that sick dying plant is already going to be lowered by that much more, if that makes sense. And again, I'm not saying that you shouldn't save them. I definitely think you should. I love those people that go out there and buy the spray painted succulents like swear people go out people s people like will take a succulent and they'll fucking spray paint it like i fucking shit you not in this insanity they'll spray paint it like weird ass colors like pink 
and red and blue and like weird stuff but there's people that go out and like save them because that's like imagine that's like having paint on your skin bruh like you don't want paints on your skin how are you supposed to how is it supposed to breathe okay anyways you cute this is definitely not the healthiest horsia but it's definitely a favorite I understand the appeal. I've done it. Again, I've probably done it more than regular people do because I'm not a regular person, but that's okay. <laughs> but I highly, highly suggest that you wait until you understand how to really take care of succulents. Like when you're really confident and really... Yeah. When you feel like you know what you're doing, and when you've saved your own, and ex when you've experienced the trials and tribulations of even caring for a healthy plant, because there's things that happen to healthy plants where they'll they'll you know have something wrong with them for a little bit, whether it be light deficiency, pests, bugs, fungus, bacteria, whatever it is. Yeah, and then what he said. Like, you'll just know how to better take care of plants, and even your own, and then once you go out to a succulent, oh, oh my god, cut, <laughs> it's rooted, it's okay, it's fine, things like, this is a propagation, so don't trip, it's barely rooting, everything else is rooted, anyways, cut, <laughs> like it never happened. It would be so much better of a, a rescue. If you knew what was exactly wrong and you knew how to fix it. That's my whole point of this. Go out and buy those six succulents and save them once you know exactly what's wrong with them and how to fix them. I didn't do this before as a succulent beginner. I do now do it <laughs> living in Las Vegas. Because I have to. You got to know how to take care of yourself and your succulents out here. <laughs> but it's important to give yourself time in understanding the succulents. I mean, there's different ways that people look at succulents. People are like, oh my god, aren't those the easy plants? Or, oh my god, I totally killed them. They're so hard. And I didn't get them at first. I understand that. I didn't get them at first easy either. But now they're easy because I took time to learn and I was patient with myself and the plants. And that's what you got to do. Also, be patient with yourself while you learn about your plants. And if you don't want to give yourself time, that's okay too because I didn't either. But you're going to be learning the hard way, but that's okay. Sometimes people learn like that. So here are some things to consider before buying the clearance slash sick plant slash whatever it is. So why is it on clearance in the first place? Is it an aesthetic issue or is it something more serious? Can I check the roots for potential problems? Even if it doesn't have any obvious issues, do I know how to take care of it on a basic level? Am I willing to do the research to take care of the plant? Will I even have the time and energy to take care of the plant? Will I be able to provide it what it needs? With like the sun and the water and the nice words and the caring and the love? Come on over! Where was I? Am I emotionally and mentally... Am I emotionally and mentally prepared? For the worst? Does me buying sad plants represent something symbolic? Just kidding. About the last two. A little bit. But that's all I got for you. Another short video. Huh. To end it, again, I understand the appeal of buying sick clearance plants. Because one, it's like a cute romantic rescue story where you're potentially and idealistically you and your plants can you know your sick plant can live happily ever after but out here in las vegas you gotta hold it <laughs> if you want healthy plants in your home start off 
and buy healthy plants, especially as a beginner, because you gotta know how to take care of the plant and what makes it healthy before you can look at and assess the plant and make it healthy again. So that's the point of this tip. I hope that this video helps. There is a bonus tip and there's a tip number seven, but I'm not gonna make a video about it. It's just a bonus tip that you can read on the blog. Thanks so much you guys for letting me make this series. It was really fun to make. I had no idea how much I had to say. Yeah, I had no how, oh my goodness. I had no idea how much I had to say about succulents, but I guess I have a lot to say. So expect more videos, macaroni. Come on over. Come on over. Come here. I'll give you pets. Thanks for watching. Succulent friends of Vegas. Oh.